here in Masonic Villages, the farm is about 500 acres yet. The cow herd is outside year round. So we have about 180, 190 mama cows out on pasture. Our operation, we calve out in the spring. So February, March, shoot for a 60 day calving window. We do a lot of natural breeding. So we have 10 herd bulls on site that we use. Our breeds that we have, we have some shorthorn pluses or shorthorn cross and we have some scimitols and we have some black angus and then a bunch of angus cross cattle. So our farm here at Bow Creek Farm is 68 acres but we farm probably almost 300 in total on four different farms. On about 80 of those acres, we have 45 mama cows. Then we have uh, in our finishing barn where we're finishing steers for beef, there's another 40 to 50 head of animals there at any given time. Probably in 2003, we started with a herd of Herefords, having moms and raising calves and selling those calves. In 2004, we bought our first Red Angus animals and we fell in love with that breed. And so we slowly switched over from Hereford to Red Angus. The Red Angus breed, we really liked the docility of the animals. And genetically, they were bred to be more docile animals. I think content animals who are healthy and have the things available to them all the time that they need to maximize their potential is what we're striving for. Something we do when the calf is born, we give a, a vaccine, we give a bolus, which helps uh, right away kind of just build their immune system. And then we, we give them an ear tag so we can identify them, has their birth date on there, and then who his mom is. So if they get separated, we can easily put them back with mom. Uh, and then we'll, we'll watch them. We'll make sure mom usually has them licked off and nice and clean and dry. And, and hopefully they've been up and have tasted some of that first colostrum from mom. That's a very important step as well. With our 45 cows that we have here, they're each going to have a calf every year. So during calving time, we're really going out to that field two, three, four times a day, checking on animals. And once that animal's born, we give them probably about 12 to 24 hours to be with their mom. We'll check on them to make sure they're drinking from their mom. And then we'll go and we'll t what we call tag the animal. We have an ear tag that's for each individual animal. They each get their own number. And that's so we can keep good records. For beef quality assurance, that's really important. My approach to beef is that we follow all the possible BQA standards we can to ensure that the animals are content. They have the shelter, the feed, the water to keep them healthy and perform to their genetic potential. We'll also, at that point, any animal that we want to keep for breeding purposes, they'll just go on with their mom in the, in the pasture, as always, drinking their mother's milk. They'll slowly start to graze grass. And then, at about seven months of age, then we wean them from their mama cows. We use fence line weaning where the mama cows are on one side of the fence and the calves are on the other. They can still touch noses, they can still call to each other, but we feel again that that is the least amount of stress that we can put on those animals to, to wean them. We actually depend on many experts to do our jobs. We look for evidence-based information. And we also have consulted with experts at Penn State Extension to help us design our barn. It's really important when you have cattle in a barn that airflow is very essential to keeping them healthy and free of respiratory disease. We work with a veterinarian, a nutritionist, and agronomist. The big one for the cow-calf side would be with the vet. Every January, before we start calving, we make sure we get our meeting with her. She has helped us set a protocol and then, yeah, we go through our calving season. If we have issues, she's the one we call. I think that the most important thing we do each and every day is taking care of the animals and going out, checking them first thing in the morning, during calving season, checking them at all hours of the day and night. Our love of animals is why we're here. We care about animals and we care about food security and we want to raise beef in the most sustainable and safest way in the world.